Hello everybody, it's Sylvie. Welcome back. I hope you're doing good. We're talking tarot planning, tarot journaling today. So as a bit of an introduction, you will already have seen me un unwrap, unbox um, my gorgeous new traveler's notebook and I will get into that. This is the new system I'm using, but just as a bit of a brief recap, I did a video on how I use this. This is my A6 setup. I have, oh, I have personal photos in there. Um, so I have a Hobonichi Avec, which I do for my regular, like, daily life planning. And then I have this is my Hobonichi A6 Day Free. And the way I've been using this all year is to record my daily card pull, which I do not as a predictive reading, not as a reading to actually learn anything, quite frankly. I do this as a reading to get to know a deck. I just pull a card a day from a different deck each month. You can see this was the Midnight Magic Tarot for May. Um, sometimes I decorate, sometimes I don't. I'm showing you a pretty one for the sake of the video. But I do this to get to know a deck because I don't think a single card draw actually tells me very much. I've been really enjoying this. I like this. I'm keeping this going in the sense that I'm still doing this practice. It just isn't going to be in this book. As for the rest of the book, um, I started out using it for readings. It's turned into just kind of general note-taking books I'm reading. This was um, Kitchen Table Tarot. I really liked the court card stuff, so I took a bunch of notes from the audiobook. You know, that kind of thing. Just like general stuff that I like. This is evolving, this is changing. That was the system. It was the daily pull and then any larger spreads I record digitally. I have done a how I take tarot notes in Notion video. I will link all of this down below, obviously. Um, a part two of how I record spreads digitally in Notion will be coming, but I've been kind of tinkering with how I do that. So anyhow, that was my practice. But things have changed somewhat because I still, enjoy and don't want to stop doing my daily single card draw to get to know a deck but my daily reading has actually changed somewhat in the sense that I actually do a daily reading now I never really used to but now I've been pulling two three cards a day to have a little bit of a daily reading and I wanted a place to record that because it doesn't work for me to record that digitally I was playing around with different planner ideas. It's also, it's new planner season. Hobonichi have released their 2024 lineup. People are kind of prepping for next year. I am a lover of planners and organizational systems. So I've kind of caught planner fever also. Um, and this is what I've landed on. I thought quite hard about it. And I think this is really gonna work for me. So this is, as I said, this is a standard size traveler's notebook from Traveller's Company. This is the Camel colorway. And I have in here, I will go through it, but I have in here a um, undated monthly, an undated weekly, and then a plain gridded notebook. So as you can see here, I have labeled my monthly book with Libra 22 because I really wanted to work with the Deccans in my tarot planner. And to my knowledge, there is not a planner that exists out there that is already set up with instead of like September is Libra season. So I bought a blank one, I did it myself. This is what we have going on. It's not looking too pretty yet. It's functional so far, but I have labeled this from the 23rd through the 30th and then to the 22nd of October. I haven't labeled this, I know what it means. I will probably make it look pretty at some point. So this is functioning the same as my undated Hobonichi did. I'm pulling a card a day. The deck I'm using at the moment is the Fairy Tarot by Natalie Hertz. This is in my autumn deck basket because it's fun, it's colorful, I've been really enjoying it. I've been feeling a bit gloomy at the end of summer so I decided to pick something fun and colorful to see me through Libra season. So we have here, I had less space, so we just, I'm using the elemental symbols, I know what they mean. We've got the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, etc. And I'm writing down some keywords from the guidebook. If the guidebook has a particular take on a card, that's when I'm writing in. This hasn't changed, functionally speaking, this is the same as it ever was. 
and is undated so I can see that through hopefully ideally for an entire zodiacal year. Now I know that it technically begins with Aries and Libra is halfway through but I've mentioned this in a previous video. Libra is my new year, the autumn equinox is my new year. I think again it's a bit of a hangover from academic life. <laughs> it's also my birthday is um, in Libra season so it feels like a new year to me in several ways. So we're starting with Libra 22. I love an excuse to use my label maker so that's what that's there for. This is my daily pull, that's not changed. This one, also starting Libra 22, is my new, the new part of my setup. So we have, I can't commit to sticking this in. This is um, the Justice, it's a print, a mini print of the Justice card from MJ Cullinane's Raven's Dream Tarot, which came with my pre-order. It fits so perfectly here, and obviously Justice being the Libra card, I feel like I, I just can't commit to blowing it down because that's who I am as a person. But um, I've been doing my daily pulls and filling them in here, so I'm using at the moment, I'm using these two. Just should you be interested, this is the Heavenly Bodies Astrology Oracle deck and the World Unknown Pocket Edition. Somebody in the comments section of my oracle deck and playing with pairs video suggested this pairing. I don't remember who you are but if you're watching you are right this is a great pairing I'm really enjoying it. So there's not too much to see so far. I started it on Saturday. That was only a few days ago so there's not too much excitement going on in here yet but um, I'm liking it. I think it's going to be really functional. I have space to put my sort of daily reading and some notes. I have done a Libra season spread. I have yet to put it in here. I took a photo but I have thoughts and I'm going to write them down so that's going to go here and then that sort of is the plan. I'm going to put my daily draws down here. I can write in which decks that I'm using so future reference if I want to come back I'll know what I did and then this can just be for any other spreads I do, any thoughts I have, any kind of themes that emerge, additional thoughts on any of the cards. I have a lot of thoughts at all times so it's nice to have a place to record them and this is actually alongside my daily pulls and also I've got the whole week at a glance. Do you know how much I struggled to find a notebook that had this setup? So this is what I like about the Hobonichi weeks, you've got the days of the week down the left and then just grid paper on the right. And there are other brands that do a similar setup in a dated notebook and even an undated notebook but they all put Saturday and Sunday squished together at the bottom and I want the same space for each day so that was a struggle so in the end I went with this undated travels notebook. So that is the setup we'll see how I get on with it and then these two together the monthly and the weekly are my replacement essentially for the Techo A6 undated Hobonichi that I was using and it doesn't bother me that this is bigger because I don't think this is going to come out and about with me ever uh, so that should all work very nicely. I have it wrapped up with this zipper pocket pouch situation. Firstly how cute are these stickers? Little cat tarot and element stickers which again I can't commit to actually sticking on anything but I'm, I'm tucking them in here for the time being. Um, and they look very nice. And then these are my year cards. I work out my yearly card of the year a little bit differently to how I've seen literally anyone else do it, but it works for me and it makes the most sense. Um, instead of adding the year that it is, because I do it from my birthday to my birthday, I don't do it from January 1st to December 31st. So this will be changing in a few days. Instead of adding the year, I add the age that I am with my day and month um, and that gave me so this this is prudence because this is a additional card from the Terra volatile it comes with a bunch of extra cards or this probably is actually from the expansion pack um of additional cards but it's number 12 so it's the hanged man um and this is changing in a few days and then 12 multiplies down doesn't multiply down adds down you add the one and the two, you get three, which um, fertility is not my favourite. This is why this isn't in my actual working deck of the Terra Volatile, but it's 
number three for the Empress, which will also be changing in a few days. I'm entering a death year. Love that for me. <laughs> so that's what's in there. And then in the back here, I just have the Libra card from the Woven Path Tarot, which I don't use or I don't intend to use within shuffled into the actual deck. So that's here next to my deck and walk notebook because we're in Libra season and I am finally committing to the deck and walk. So I finally got myself the actual physical book, 36 Secrets by T. Susan Chang, in order to do the deck and walk and do my learning and do my note taking. I know that I most, if not all, of the information that is in this book is on her blog and also maybe in her podcast. Um, but I, I was trying that. I did, I think, Aries and Taurus just using her blog and using my Tarot and Astrology book that is over there somewhere. Um, but I just couldn't get on with it. I needed it in front of me in book form. So I'm excited. It's, it's Libra season. It's my personal new year. I have my new planner. I have my new um, drive to do the deck and walk. I'm feeling very good. And um, I think again, like I said in a previous video, I think Libra is going to be just an exciting one to start with because myself, my partner and my brother all have Libra birthdays and we're each in a different decan. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how, just what I can glean from that. So that is my new tarot journal setup. I'm very excited. I am really, really pleased to have this sort of zodiacal season monthly. Um, I have not been able to find this anywhere. Anyone who makes planners or diaries, I can't be the only one who wants this right. I feel like you'd make a you'd make a killing with a particular niche of people. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my that's my tarot planner. And then my A6 and dated, I promise you, is not going to waste. My new plan for this book is also definite ish, but um, this is going to be astrology in the monthlies. I'm still going to be using the blank paper just as general like notes and thoughts and such like, but this is astrology things. So what I have done is I have coloured out the decans. I got fancy with my watercolour paints. This is a little bit acidic. I didn't realise it was going to come out quite as aggressively yellow, but it's fine. Um, so I have what I have filled in. My sailor return on Friday. Um, and I filled in the sort of full and new moons. We've actually got a solar eclipse in a couple of weeks. And then what I have put in here is choice transits from my honeycomb planner. I have a digital edition of the honeycomb astrological planner which I have basically is just a very easy way to see when transits and things are happening astrologically for me. I know very little about astrology and this is not a beginner friendly planner, the honeycomb planner, it just tells you what's going on, it doesn't tell you how to interpret it, but me being the person that I am I I don't really do well like starting with the basics and then expanding outwards. I want to dive headfirst in and then I can just pick and choose the bits to be interested in. So the bits that I have chosen to be interested in for Libra season is I have put in whenever the transiting moon is conjunct with any of my natal planets. Um, obviously like the full moon, the last quarter, etc. Pluto is going direct. If that's not Pluto, I'll be very embarrassed. Um, and also when Mars is doing interesting things. So it was squaring my moon the other day and I don't know, he popped up somewhere else in here. Because those are things that I've noticed tie in to my actual real life. So I thought those would be a good place to start. And then next month I might stick with looking into moon things. I might change it up. I don't know, I'll see how I feel. Because I figured this would be quite an easy way to start learning about astrology in relation to like my chart specifically and um, sort of real world or practical applications of what transits and things mean. Um, 
but this still has some structure like I'm just doing moon things and I'm doing uh, Mars things so this doesn't feel overwhelming I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes my plan with this is that I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on it see when things are coming up and then look into what these particular transits are like supposed to mean and then compare that with what I felt like on the given day and um I can also be making some notes in here if I feel the need to make notes um and that's the plan I think again I think this is going to be a practical way for me to learn some astrology yes that is my current journal planner setup situation and I am I'm very much looking forward to it you can tell you can tell that the um like academic school year sort of energy is still very much present for me even though I haven't done that in a good few years um because I'm like yes I'm going to study astrology I'm going to study the decans I've got my new planner it's all going to be great we'll see how far this energy takes me but to my credit I did keep up with my daily stuff in here until last week when I immediately moved into this book so I'm feeling good about it I'm also honestly very excited that I finally have a traveler's notebook I have wanted to make the traveler's notebook setup work for me for so so long and like this is strings like a traveler's notebook but this by the way this cover is a Meadowgate leather cover that I got off Etsy but I don't think he is making covers anymore so I don't think you can get his work anymore which is a shame because they're really gorgeous but anyhow yes I'm really pleased that I have found a way to hopefully make the traveler's notebook set up a work for me I have a good feeling about it it feels like a natural extension of the practice I've already got going and it feels like it's gonna fill the gaps that I felt were missing in this book so I think that is everything I wanted to share with you today that is my new planner setup that is how I am transforming my old planner um everything is going to be useful everything hopefully will work out really well for me um I probably will do an inevitable update to this in the new year when I get my 2024 batch of planners in because I'm not entirely sure for the day free the monthly pages run until March I think yeah the monthly pages run until March 24 so I think it depends how quickly I get through the note paper in this one whether I will repurchase at the beginning of the year or use them up and transition into something else but that is a future video that is a future problem for now I'm very happy for now I feel like this is going to be really productive for me which I'm really pleased about so that really is everything for me let me know what you think about my zodiacal calendar setup because I'm really pleased with that I feel like that's going to be really useful for me also because I do my sort of monthly wrap-ups according to like Virgo season, Libra season etc so it's really nice to have my daily tarot pull and my choice of deck actually fit within that time frame it's the little things that make me extremely happy so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions about things give me a comment I can always answer you in the comments I can always do another video along these lines if there's more stuff you want to see let me know thank you very much for watching thank you for spending some time with me give me a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye bye